Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, JC communities in Delta State is currently on fire because there is a continuous war between Supreme Area Confraternity and Supreme Vikings Confraternity and this has led to the bringing down of about four people in the recent time. So you know, when there is a confraternity war, most of the time, the events that happen often have different stories and I try as much as possible to investigate what really happened so that I can use this as an example for people to know what is going on and for people to know how dangerous confraternity violence can actually get. So in this video, I am going to try as much as possible to explain to you what happened and the different versions that also happened in the recent time right there in JC. But before I go into it, I quickly want to remind you guys to like this video and leave a comment in the comment section below to tell me what you think about this entire issue. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. YouTube told me that some of the people that watch this platform are not subscribed. So guys, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the video. So the problem between these two groups right there in JC has been going on for quite some time now. As a matter of fact, I spoke about this when it started months ago and you can go and look at this video and it actually started because a young man crossed carpet from one confraternity to another. As a matter of fact, it is said that the young man crossed carpet from AA to Vikings and this is what actually caused the problem. A lot of people went down when this cult was started and after that everyone traveled. So there wasn't a peace talk and they said confraternity war has started again. So let's talk about what happened recently. So it is said that a Vikings member was brought down sometime in August and that is what actually woke up the confraternity war again. So after this young man was brought down, there was a tension in the town. So at the end of last month, at the end of August, the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down. This young man is said to be a member of AA and according to how he was described, he seemed to be one of the leaders of AA in that particular community. So it is said that on the very day that this young man went down, AA members went to bring down another Vikings member and the vigilantes in that city came. So the AA members were being chased by the vigilantes and the vigilantes fired at this young man and another member of AA and this young man went down and the other member of AA survived it. So the AA members went ahead to bring down another Vikings member which is the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen. So they brought down this young man and a lot of young men in the community started traveling until about two days ago that they brought down another Vikings member and according to the story surrounding the Vikings member that was brought down two days ago he was said to have been drinking in an hotel right there in JC as he was drinking he decided to take a walk maybe he wanted to go and pee so that is when some young men surrounded him and they brought him down now, after the young man went down, the Vikings member, they are very angry with the young man that was brought down. The reason they are angry is because they said that the young man is a betrayer. They said that the young man is friends with AA members. He normally goes out with some AA members. This is all according to the Vikings members right there in JC. And all the things that are going on in JC is because someone decided to cross carpet from one confraternity to another. And this is what I keep telling people. If you look closely, the person that have cross carpeted, the person might not even be in this country anymore. And people are going down for months now. People are going down just because of the decision of one person. This is why I keep saying that we have to do better. Anyway, you're watching Nigerian View.